In spring 1943, the German invasion of the Soviet Union is going badly. After losing the Battle of Stalingrad, 91,000 German troops have been captured and 250,000 lay dead. The morale of the Red Army went higher and the German war machine was no longer undefeatable as it once was in 1941. The Führer Adolf Hitler now desperately wanted a win against the Soviets in order to achieve any chance of victory. In March, an opportunity came when the Germans drove the Red Army out of Kharkov, creating a bulge in the front line. If the German army could encircle the bulge, they would capture over one million enemy troops. The Germans planned on taking Kursk with the 9th Army attacking from the north and the 4th SS Panzer Corps attacking from the south. After a series of delays, the offensive, codenamed Operation Citadel, began. Despite the numerical superiority of the Red Army, progress was being made in the South. When the 5th Guards tank army attacked the advancing German army near a small town called Prokhorovka, what is now known as the biggest tank battle in history was about to begin.
During the Battle of Prokhorovka, the Soviets managed to defeat the German army with an overwhelming amount of force. With the best units of the German army destroyed, the tide of the war would turn in the favor of the Soviet Union, and the victory at Kursk would someday take them all the way to the gates of Berlin in the heart of Nazi Germany.